Welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be testing out these new Airwave buffing wheels from Red Label Abrasives. And the goal for today is get a mirror finish without any hand sanding. Let's see if we can do it. So here you can see these new buffing wheels. I haven't talked about these very much in the past, but I've used them a lot. Um, and they're kind of, I'm trying to get a close-up of them. They're a really dense fabric material. And you can see I've just broken in this set and got them all installed. They each come with their own buffing compound. So you've got the pink, which is a coarse, the green is a medium polish, and the white is that uh, super, super fine mirror. And they come with all their own individual compounds that match the colors. They install really easily. Um, you get these little black backing plates and they fit on a 5 8 arbor buffing wheel. Now, for today's video, I wanted to do something to just see if this works. Might not, but we'll see. Um, I've got this Damascus pocket muck. Yeah, you can kind of see the pattern in there. And what I did is I took this to a 400 grit finish on the surface grinder. Now, I tried to be thorough on it uh, as far as the grip progression goes, but uh, I thought this would be a good test because they say that you can take something to a 400 grip finish and get it all the way to a mirror just with this system. So I'm going to test it out, and we're going to see kind of uh, how this all works out. Now, uh, these buffing wheels are a little bit different to use. You have to break them in a little bit. And they make a, I believe it's called like a buffing rake or something like that, that kind of uh, scratches these up a little bit. Now you can see, I probably should have shown what it looks like brand new, but I just started breaking this one in. And all, all I do is take like the end of a file and really gouge it into it and try to, you're trying to just break up those fibers and there you can kind of see like how it gets fuzzy, kind of. You want those real fuzzy and broken apart uh, to get them working properly. Um, so it takes takes a few minutes to break these in, but then once they're broken, uh, you know, you clean them every once in a while and they're good to go. So let's jump over, start buffing this thing, start on the course with the pink uh, and see kind of how this works. Okay, so I did that super quick, maybe 30 seconds. And um, you can see where I definitely missed a little bit, probably at that 120 mark uh, on the grinder. But that, the pink is very, very aggressive. Like it cuts a lot, so. I can definitely see how that could take out some 400 grit scratches. And what I'm gonna do is kind of just do one side of this knife and then show you guys at the end of this. Um, probably hard to see in the camera, but we've already got a really nice shine going. I'm gonna go straight to the green and white, check back in and show you guys kind of the results. I can already see myself in it though, just hitting it with that pink, pretty impressive. Okay, so this is, I just stepped outside kind of to get you guys in the lighting. This is what the final finish looked like off the grinder. Okay, so that's at just a quick 400 grit. And then look at this mirror. Oh my goodness. You can see that where I probably skipped 
a little too fast. Wow, you can't. It's so shiny. Um, look at this. Super impressive <laughs> for how quick that was. Um, unbelievable. Well, these are definitely going to be a time saver. Um, I can't believe how good that worked. And again, this is just right off the grinder. I think that if you wanted to get an absolutely perfect mirror finish, you know, you could just take a little more time on the surface grinder. Um, like I said, I can see a few of my 120 grit scratches in there that I probably just went a little too fast with, but, uh, what a time saver. I think that I've done videos in the past on mirror polish. A lot of times I do it on uh, Damascus steel, stainless Damascus to get a really good etch. Um, and I'll take it up to 2000 grit by hand and then start buffing. So this definitely will save me a lot of time hand sanding. So again, these are called the airway, airway, hang on, let me make sure that's what these are called, the air way yeah airway wheels they're just a whole different deal than a normal buffing wheel it's cool um they actually red label sells this whole kit uh, again that comes with a pink a green and a white and you can kind of see after just buffing that one knife they get really broken in and kind of you use them a few times they get broken really good this is a brand new set um that they sent me to mess with a little bit. So really happy with those results. If you guys have any questions um, on this, feel free to ask. I'll put a comment or I'll put a link below in the comments so you guys can check these out. Again, I think these are kind of a game changer. Now I even use these same buffing wheels on handles. They've been really, really good for that. Um, I a lot of times will hand sand to 1200 and then go right to the green wheel, um, that medium cut, just because I think that pink one is a little aggressive for certain Hannah materials. So let me know if you have any questions. Again, these things are sweet, and I'll be using them a ton in the future. All right, guys, thanks for watching.